everybody, welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. My name's Kathy Fillion, and thank you so much for joining me today. I am making a whole bunch of earrings, and I'm so excited to share this project with you. It is gift giving season, so if you're making stuff to sell or making stuff to give, this is a really fun, quick and easy jewelry project that you can make. Take a look at all these cute designs. I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks for adding sparkles and tiny rhinestones. We're using Mod Podge to pull it all together. We're going to be using Mod Podge in satin to create these looks. I like using satin for the fashion projects because it's not too shiny and it's not too matte. I'm also using Mod Podge Sparkle, which is one of my favorite formulas, and it's just got a little tiny bit of a glittery hint to it. Let's take a look at one of the earrings with that glitter in there. I hope you can see that on these little snowmen here. That is the Mod Podge Sparkle. So I'm gonna show you how you can add that sparkle to create some unique looks. We're gonna be using our Mod Podge Detail Brushes. This is a great set of brushes. It comes with all kinds of different tiny brushes for painting those little tiny details. We've got our wood blanks. You can buy these in bulk. This is a super budget friendly project to do. And what you're going to wanna to use is paper. You're gonna to wanna to use small prints of your holiday prints. Of course, you could bake these for any time of year, but I wanted to do something for the holidays. So let's get diving into how we make these earrings. And I'm also gonna show you how you can jazz up an earring stand like this with just a little bit of decorations. Okay, let's do it. So today I'm gonna to be using this cute Santa paper and these wood teardrop blanks. And again, I got these in bulk, but they were at all the craft stores. So if you wanna get a bunch, order online or head over to your local craft store. And I'm just going to take that teardrop shape and line it up onto my Santa face and just pencil around it. For this project, I'm penciling on the top, even though I normally like to pencil on the back, but it makes my cutting line a little bit easier and I can really line it up with my pattern that way. I'm using Mod Podge Satin for this project and you're just going to use a small amount. I like to use a small paintbrush for this and you're going to apply that Mod Podge to the very back of your paper. Just a thin coat, you really don't need too much for this. If you use too much, you might end up with wrinkles, so just a thin coat. Then you're gonna position it right onto the wood. You don't need to pre-prime the wood. You can put it right onto the bare wood, and then you have enough time to just sort of wiggle it around and get into position. I like to press it down onto a piece of wax paper just to help with any wrinkles and smooth that out. Then just flip it over and let that dry for about 15 minutes before you top coat. Okay, now we're gonna poke a hole. I'm just using a toothpick to poke a hole through the paper and then give it a little twist and that will give you a nice clean look. Now we're ready to top coat. You wanna do nice even brush strokes, just a thin coat, but nice even brush strokes. We're gonna use Sparkle Mod Podge to add some sparkle to Santa's beard and hat. I'm using the detail paint brushes. These are from Michaels. These are the perfect size for all of your small projects. So you'll just paint the Sparkle Mod Podge right onto the beard or any place where you want a little bit of sparkle. Now this is sparkle, so it has a light sparkle. If you wanted something heavier, you could use Mod Podge Mega Glitter or Extreme Glitter. Now grab some gems. I'm gonna add a few little gems here and there on all of these projects. This is a great way to add just a tiny bit of bling. Let's add some snow to our snowmen. You can also create an all over snow look. Look at how cute these little tiny ones are. For an all over look, just brush it right across the paper and that's gonna create a sparkly background. Very, very simple. Now let's add some bling. So I'm using the same Mod Podge Sparkle, just add a drop or two here and there, and then place a gem right on top of it. It's so simple to do. I love all these little great colors that they have now. For this, I'm just gonna line three up. You can add details to any of your prints using sparkles and little rhinestones. I use the end of my paintbrush just to line everything up. Look at those adorable little stars. So really look around at the craft store and try to find lightweight, small things that you can add to your earrings. Okay, now that you see how easy it is to get that paper down using Mod Podge, I wanna show you how you actually turn these pieces into an earring. So we've got our pieces here that are dry. Oh, let's take a look at that sparkle real quick. 
Look at that, isn't that so beautiful? So we've got our sparkle Mod Podge there, and then we have our little rhinestone. I hope you guys can see that at home. So cute, I love this, I love the little Santa. And we're gonna use an ear wire and some jump rings. And on my ear wire, I have attached a small jump ring to the bottom. And then we're going to use a large jump ring to go through the hole on our wood piece. So you'll just take your jump ring and go right through the hole like so. And then you wanna make sure that your ear wire is going the right direction. So you wanna just feed that through just like so. And then we're gonna grab our pliers. Let's see if we can just like that. And we'll go ahead and close that up. And then I like to just sort of pinch it, make sure it's good. And that's how quickly you can turn that into an earring. So again, we have our ear wire piece. We've got one small jump ring, and then we've got our larger jump ring. And the most important thing is making sure that your ear wire is going the right direction. Otherwise your earring would hang backwards and that wouldn't be too cute. <laughs> so that's how easy it is to do that. Okay, you can see I am all set up with my cute earring display. And I had this earring display already from my bedroom. And I just went ahead and I used a pipe cleaner to attach some fun ribbons and a, just a little festive holiday sprig and some ornament balls, so easy. So if you are setting up at a craft fair or a school boutique, you can trick out your displays even with a little bit of festive decor and it will look so cute. And the blanks, we talked about them briefly at the beginning. These blanks you can buy in bulk online. They're at all the craft stores. This was a pack of 50, so, or sorry, it's a pack of 100, so it makes 50 earrings super reasonable. And again, you wanna look for those small print papers. I only bought a handful of papers and there is still so much that I can cut out of each piece. Well, I hope today's project has inspired you to think about some earrings that you can make to give. They're so easy and you just need a few supplies. I'll be back here next week with another fun Mod Podge project to share with you. Make sure you use those hashtags Mod Podge and Plaid Crafts so that everybody at Plaid can see what you're making. Have a happy holiday season.